Good morning from St. Thomas. Yeah. We actually are already here and docked. We got here at 7 a.m. Which is 6 a.m. to our bodies. Yeah, because we're not used to this Atlantic Standard no. Time. So we're going to go get some coffee and some breakfast. I think we're going to the buffet again. Yes. Dining room was fun, but the menu was kind of small. So I'm excited to get back up to the big old selection of the buffet. <laughs> Um, we, may, we may try dining room again. You know, oh, yeah, uh, no. Uh, but yeah, we're in St. Thomas. We'll get our food, get our coffee, wake up, and then we'll come back and talk about what we're doing in St. Thomas. Yeah. Yeah, so let's go get some food. What am I most excited for? That big pastry section. You know, oh, that, Lord. I know, I know, I know. All right, so pastries. I like <clears> the yogurt <throat> section. Well, that's just boring. Actually, they had lots of nice toppings to put on your yogurt. We do have to grab pool towels because, oh. side note, they are not in your room. You just get them True. from the top deck. So just remember that if you're going on an excursion, make sure you get a towel before yes. you leave the ship. True. Good point. Yeah. Why don't you be in a week? I am. Let's go get coffee. Let's get coffee. <laughs> <All right>. Bye. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. What a crab shack. The heck? couple of towels. Nice. Hey again, we are back from breakfast and we are in beach mode. Why you ask? Because we're going to try to go to the beach. Beach? Well, <clears throat> oh excuse me, I'm allergic to the beach. Now, we don't have a firm uh, plan. Uh, well, I should say, we don't have an organized tour for today. We're no. going to try to do something a little different and do something on our own. <gasps> we figured we're coming back to St. Thomas, but who wants to stay on St. Thomas? Am I right? <laughs> I mean, St. Thomas is beautiful, <laughs> but we've done that twice now, That's so true. we want to see something else. Yeah, so when you come to St. Thomas, you do have the option of going over to see St. John, which mm -hmm. is another U.S. Virgin Island, and we thought about doing that today, but it's kind of logistically, it's a lot. Uh, there's also a fourth Virgin Island, because, you know, besides St. Croix, St. Thomas, St. John, there is Water Island. We didn't know that. Well, we learned that the last time last we were time. in St. Thomas, so we're going to go try to check out Water Island today. Now, we're docked at Haven Site. There are two docks in St. Thomas. The other one is Crown Bay. We have to get ourselves over to Crown Bay, mm -hmm. and from there they have like a nice little what is it ten dollars round trip to take a little water taxi thing over to water island and there's a beach over honeymoon there beach. called honeymoon beach and some of our friends did it and they That's said right. it was amazing and the snorkeling was really good so i am very excited there's a chance you can see turtles stingrays, stingrays barracudas who knows all of the above yeah but anyway so we're going to try to get to honeymoon beach <laughs> on water island so step one get off the ship <laughs> Find a taxi and get over to the other port in St. Thomas. Crown Bay. All right, here All we right. go. Let's, let's adventure. Let's see how we do. <laughs> Bye. Attention, the general emergency alarm. Proceeded by the water speed for exercise only. Welcome to Haven Sight. Help! I'm being stalked by a big tall guy. Well, this is exciting and festive down here. Hey, we, that's right, we have made it onto a shared open air bus safari over to Crown Bay. Six dollars per person is, well, if you have one person at seven dollars, two or more, six dollars. But anyway, we get our first open air safari ride of the day. So, yeah. Step one. Yes. Progress. <laughs> See you here on Crown Bay, Water Island. So the taxi folks are all these guys running around in the blue shirts. They had a dispatcher right when you got off the ship, and then they put us out to these folks with the blue shirts that have directed us where we need to go. So super organized, which is good, and inside the port area, so you don't have to go wandering looking for a cab. Charlotte Emily again, but yeah, rolling on. So we took the, we're trying to catch the 10 a.m. Water Island Ferry because, oh, it's 9.56. When's the next one? Uh, 11. Oh, man. So we'll see. They leave every hour 
from, I guess, Tinkles is the name of the bar here on the, this side, and then they leave a quarter after the hour from the other side. So we might Lady be trapped <laughs> until 11 a.m., no. but we'll see. late <laughs> oh 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 it's magic the magic doesn't look the same as when we sailed at last huh weird ever since dr e left all right so here's where we meet the ferry apparently we didn't miss it because it's just coming in to dock right there so score it's in here at the d dock that's why because they knew they had to wait for d obviously did you know they named this dock after you? It's the D dock, right? So they, there's no way they would leave you behind. They can't go to Water Island without D. I'm sure they do many things. Whatever, whatever. <laughs> yeah, that's super convenient for ships that are docked over here at Crown Bay. Thank you. Thank you. Step, Step two. Step two. Step two. Step two. We have arrived at Water Island. I know, a mere, I don't know, six or seven minute boat ride later. And right here is the free ride to beach at Dingy's Beach Bar. We were told this is a must do. So you know what? We must do it. Success, we're heading to Dingy's. <laughs> at dinghies it's a little crowded here he said you know probably hard finding a chair on a ship day but check it out it's a warm one today but it's a nice one so they got a boat area it's like a little swim area designated with buoys i guess this thing turns into a swim up bar at some points but maybe not today water mode time yeah, there's a few rocks down here but not too bad water is not too refreshing yeah, I can see the bottom at least. Yeah, so some stones. I decided not to start off with water shoes because I don't think I need them. Oh yeah, all these little clear fish that you probably can't see on this camera. Yeah, good visibility. Um, I don't know if that boat is supposed to be up there or not, but that doesn't look like where I would want to keep my boat. What? Huh. Oh. All right. I guess so. Anyway, this is like the best visibility water I've seen in a long time. Is it chilly? It's it actually, chilly. it's not that bad. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. It's not, it's not like Bahama water. Oh heck no, 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 no. This I can get used to. Like, all right, yeah. Used to it. <laughs> wow, that was instant. Instant. I'm used to it. I'm used to it. Nice. It's so pretty. Yeah. It's really not crowded. I mean, no, it's not I've... a ton of chairs granted, but if you get here first, you can get one. True. No, I mean, I've always enjoyed St. Thomas, and good. now we get to explore a water island. See, so they have to be known for their water, right? No, I guess it's called Water Island because they bottle water on this island. Yeah, I think that's what our tour guide told us. Yeah, we could just stand here and do our own, you know, above water snorkeling in crystal clear water. Yeah, but we're going to let Dee go see the good stuff. So some friends of ours were here, what, a month or two ago, and they said that if you go out to the buoy line, you know, they, they saw lots of fish. There were some urchins out there. I've heard previous reports of turtles, stingrays, all sorts of potential of wildlife out here at Water Island. Honeymoon Beach. Yeah. Well, that's funny. Honeymoon Beach, because a bridal party just pulled up over there. So, that kind of makes sense. Hmm. Well, this floating bar is coming over here to float toward me, but uh, it doesn't really seem to be a bar today. So, uh, sir, I don't appreciate your advances. If there's no alcohol here, do not advance on me. 
Oh, that's funny. You can see the bridal party over there just chilling, having fun. Okay, this bar is really getting up close and personal. So, uh, goodbye. So, Honeymoon Beach does not appear to be exceptionally large. You've got dinghies down here with all of their chairs. And you kind of have a section here where there are no chairs, beach bars, or anything. And then down at the other end, there's one, I believe, that's called Heidi's down there that also has some chairs. But that's it. Honeymoon Beach. Bing! Or should I say, ding! Dingies? No. Okay. That's enough of that nonsense. I'm going to wander out here and see if I can find some deeper sandy water to swim in because I don't really want to walk up all on the grass. You know, there's probably cool fish just trying to have a chill time out there. I'm not here to harsh their mellow. So I am going to try to come around this grassy dew and come out here where there's some more sand. See, there's sand right out there. So I'm just, you know, taking the scenic route. All this sandy goodness is now mine. I see Dee back there by the buoy line doing her snorkeling as I figured she would. Hopefully she sees some amazing things. The water's really clear, so if she sees it, it's gonna be some fantastic award-winning footage. So now that I found my zone, we're gonna have to do our nice, slow, casual, honeymoon beach, water island, US Virgin Islands spin. Is that all the words? It's probably enough words, huh? All right, I'll be here taking a nap if you need me. Got some party boats coming in down here on the far side. This one's got Crazy Train by Ozzy Osbourne rocking. I guess this is down here by uh, Heidi's, I think. Dee has wandered all over out here, still trying to get a preliminary report from her. She has been all over the place and she has not come back up to tell us anything. So I am coming out to her. She in trouble, y'all. She better be giving us timely reports. What are you seeing out here? The people needs to know. Uh, not much uh -huh. well that is a sad sad tale <laughs> lady up there asked me if we'd seen any turtles i told her i'd come check with you not yet <sighs> i saw some fish okay i saw like the puffery looking polka dot one that i always see okay P I don't puff, know what it's puffery called. polka dotty that's not what it is okay porcupine fish oh porcupine fish yeah. maybe i saw some yellow and purpley little ones no sergeant majors no okay. actually no like this place has a lot of potential for sea life it's just not here right now so. uh, but it's clear. It is. The visibility so looks good. The sun went away. Yeah, I but. need that back. <laughs> and Ozzy Osbourne is here. I know. Do, do you I hear think him? They're scaring the fish away. Oh, they might be. <laughs> I heard that they were coming up. They're like, dun, 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 dun. I'm like, all right. It's so clear. It's so calm, though. This is yeah, great. it really you don't is. Have to worry about waves. But you can see, like, we had this nice blue sky happening, and then, like, this is what's coming in now. So oh, no. I think the sun is gone for a little while, but we'll, well, we'll see. Maybe the fish will come out in the rain. <laughs> fish like the rain. I hope it doesn't rain, but you know. I know, it's right? It's beautiful. It's fun just swimming around, honestly. Well, I mean, I've been having fun. <laughs> All right, D's off for more exploration. Okay, well, after she fixes her mask. Oh, my hair. <laughs> and her hair. <laughs> Something just touched me. I think oh. it was a turtle. Unless it was my camera, but I don't it, think so. It could have been. Oh, it's my snorkel. Yeah. Uh, right. Your, your snorkel's on the ocean floor right now. <laughs> I'm looking down. So you have That's to... That's what touched me. Yeah. You have to dive for your snorkel. <laughs> Not a turtle. Okay. A snorkel. Well, that was exciting. <laughs> that scared me to death. No, when you... Because I saw your snorkel was falling, and I thought you just got spooked by something and dropped your no, entire it mask like a shell, set. but it was this. Gotcha. <laughs> Right, D is off to explore the buoy line now some more. That's where we're told everything lives, so bye. Oh, hey. uh -huh. oh my God. Oh 
Oh, mercy, I think she's seen a turtle. She's waving to some fellow snorkelers and indicating a round shape as to how big the shell is and whatnot. So all her water island dreams are coming true right now. It's an emotional moment. I get so emotional, baby. Yeah, okay, enough of that. one turtle we're getting reports of two turtles one of which is apparently the size of the planet Jupiter according to the way Dee's arms were like a oh, look at how big he is so planetary turtle intergalactic planetary planetary intergalactic turtle yeah that is amazing so how much turtle footage did you get not much wow <laughs> what the crap Huge. All right, well, so the honeymoon beach tip paying off. So there's at least two, right? We've got yes. two confirmed turtles. Giant one. Okay. I had one to myself for like a good five, ten minutes almost. Well, I don't need that much turtle footage. <laughs> I got it like going down and then coming up and its head above the water. Oh, it's so amazing. Wow. Happiest girl in the world right now. <laughs> All day. Wow. Oh, okay. it's so beautiful here. It was my new favorite beach. New there's favorite no beach. A lot of just fish, right? But apparently there's turtles. Well, that's what I'd heard: turtles and stingrays and things like that. But in, I mean, we've heard some reports of fish, but I yeah, mean, I saw fish. Right. So nothing, nothing right now. Let me know if I'm getting ready to get bumped in the booty by a turtle, because okay. you know, well, the funny thing is, I can see. All I have to do is look down in the water, and They're I can, huge. I can see, see the bottom. <sighs> spin of turtle relaxation. Oh, so cool, spin. Oh, Best day ever. Well, okay. What's that? No, every time you say, what's that? That's going to make me nervous. No, Stop, it. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. You'll be like, it's an Uhura. I'll be like, no. Uhura. Uhura. Oh, that looks too There's a big uh, pipe thing down there. Is that what you're looking at? Oh, okay. I saw that earlier. There's urchins. Good thing I can't touch. Good thing I can't touch the bottom out here. <laughs> Wherever you yeah, see I the people gathered. I just kind of like didn't do right. <laughs> oh, you were selfish keeping that turtle. Okay, look, they were already over here looking at what? the so I didn't want everybody to come scan my turtle. I wanted pretty footage. Is that you, selfish? Well, no, but then once you got your 800 minutes of footage, then you could be like, hey guys, a turtle. So. I did. I told multiple. Right, so as I say, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> but because what happens is they always block. You get, I get kicked in the head a lot, you know. Yeah, that explains I a lot, actually. Calm turtle time. <laughs> calm turtle time from Honeymoon Beach, Water Island. Yeah. All right, we're gonna find we're gonna find turtles more now. So let's let, let's get to looking. So she's a spied another turtle, but he's on the other side of the buoy line. I mean, you could probably sneak and say hey to him because there's no active boats running right now. No. What's his name? How far out there is he? Uh -huh. Oh, well, that's just right. That's close. Uh -huh. I want a... You want a harmonica? Okay, well, harmonicas are cool. Uh -huh. I'm gonna touch a buoy while I'm out here. Hey, buoy. That's a vintage buoy right there. Uh -uh. You should have gone and petted him. No, you don't touch him. No, I know. That's mean. You just wave at him from afar and you go. Give him That's right.
like singing songs about turtles. <laughs> oh. You could at least make up your own tune. Oh. She might be on the prowl of another turtle. She's been sitting very still over here for a long time. You are just chilling with all the turtles. Uh, I beg your pardon? You're crying at the turtle? Well, don't cry in your snorkel mask. You can't have water in there. Here's your pa. <laughs> oh no. She got sad. <laughs> that was a beautiful moment. That's true. Oh. I'm fine. <laughs> I love turtles. <laughs> this is the best day. It's a lot of turtles here for sure. Oh no. This isn't even Alaska. Come to Water Island, it'll make you cry. What is it? Well, it's beauty of nature. It can't be helped. I sound like I'm crying too, but I got out here and my sunscreen got in my eyes and it made my eyes water. My nose was like, whew, so my nose has just clogged up. But So she's overwhelmed by the beauty of turtles. I'm overwhelmed by sunscreen in my eyes. The turtles are beautiful. Sunscreen is not beautiful. We gotta get you off this island. You're gonna get in trouble. <laughs> you are just gonna cry your mask full of tears. I did I know. <laughs> if you cry hard enough in your mask, do you drown? <laughs> Don't drown. Oh. I can't even talk right because my nose is clogged. I sound like I got a cold. You do. Anyway. Alright, let's go find another beautiful turtle. <laughs> Alright, I'm recovering from my sunscreen woes. So weird, every now and then I just get like, my eyes be burning, just makes me cry. What is making, oh, there's a helicopter back there. Anyway, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful beach. Still looking for more turtles. I don't know why, she needs a little bit more crying, a beautiful nature. Maybe if we could see a stingray, that would just cap everything off because we have heard there are stingrays here. I still sound like I have a cold. Oh well, whoops. Sunscreen. I'm just gonna burn next time. No, I'm not, I'm not. This little sailboat over here called Two Tickets. I kinda have a feeling it might have been a hurricane victim. It's got a big hole in the bottom, tossed upon the rocks, and maybe they just, just decided to leave it there. It's Two Tickets to Paradise. Is this a turtle right below us? That's your shadow, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I look down, I see like dark in the water, and then it's just D shadow. Your shadow looks like a turtle, that's appropriate. Yay! <laughs> that was loud. I think we're going to get out and explore dinghies in further detail up here in a little bit. Uh, we waited until the 10 o'clock ferry today because their website said they didn't open until 10.30. So we were like, oh, no point in getting over there early. Then, of course, when we got here, like, all the beach loungers were gone. So I have a feeling you can go ahead and get over here early, especially if there's a lot of ships in port. And they might just be open early. But they advertise 10.30. But you know what? Just go ahead and come catch an early, uh, an early ferry over here. It'll probably be fine. So we're going to hang out. I think we're going to take the 2.15 ferry back, give or take. The ferry seems to run on island time, which is cool. Uh, and then that gives us plenty of time to be back. Our back on board is 3.30. So good little uh, window of error there. But we're probably going to jump out. We might get a drink here, especially if they have bushwhackers. Hey, now. Uh, I know they have conch fritters, or should. I think the menu changes a lot. Uh, whatever they got on special for the day. So we'll check out dinghies. Can't say it right because of my nose. Dinghies. Yeah. 